All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jan Rognerud, founder of chaosmap.com, customer acquisition strategists. That's what we call ourselves. And uh, you can go to that on chaosmap.com and click the big old red button to see a case study there. But uh, I'm not here to talk about me. I'm talking about you. And I'm going to be discussing customer attraction versus customer uh, acquisition. I almost repeated that. Yeah, customer attraction versus customer acquisition. And um, this is an important discussion because there's a lot of discussion online and really everywhere we go and I go, hey, can I get more traffic? You know, I need more traffic for my business. I need more visibility. Um, You know, if we're talking about SEO, right? That's something that we've been doing for years. Well, search engine optimization is cool. And yes, you are appearing organically in the uh, search engines. And of course, Google being the, the main play at that. Well, that's really cool, right? Getting more traffic. Maybe you're using, you know, paid media, Facebook and Google, maybe YouTube, maybe you're running Snapchat, right? Or maybe you're using a a podcasting strategy like this one, or maybe you're combining it with just multi-channels, right? And multi, uh, uh, multi multi-traffic opportunities, which is great. You know, that means you're building out a more cohesive strategy, perhaps. And so now you're tracking all this wonderful traffic and, you know, you're really building, you know, a brand lift and a visibility for your products and services. And so customer attraction really then is a little bit more on the front end discussion of uh, what I'm talking about today. So top line metrics is what we use in paid media uh, to kind of discuss, you know, what does that activity look like? What does that landscape Uh, look like and is it making sense you know both from a sort of a metric level in terms of investment but also in terms of traffic and visibility so if you're ranking for a keyword today on page two and we can get that up to page one for you well that's going to be helpful right depending on the keyword and the space and you know what else you're doing but uh, customer attraction or client attraction is really everything that you're doing uh, at the front end right So uh, there's many definitions for this, but really ultimately what you want is customer acquisition. And that's where it gets really interesting. Um, Customer acquisition, of course, is very complementary to this entire exercise uh, because customer acquisition now gets into the real strategies of actually onboarding clients, right? So let's go through a, a quick scenario here. So let's use SEO for sake of simplicity. Um, In fact, I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about a case study here from a recent client, actually, where um, we were, uh, you know, tasked to get more visibility for a certain group of keywords, right? And this is in a local market. And it's in a high ticket market, meaning, you know, professionals, right? Not not your florist down the street, uh, but uh, typically a high ROI on each item sold, right? So in this case, uh, services. Well, uh, as we started to get the ranking ups, uh, rankings up both in the local maps, right? The, the local pack there, as well as the organic listings. Uh, we noticed, of course, through analytics that, hey, traffic is moving up. And in the uh, uh, monthly reporting that we provided, we could clearly see that and uh, the client could see it and everything is fine. The marketing directory is just loving it, right? And uh, the owners are seeing the progress and everything's wonderful. Well, now we're talking again about client attraction, right? The top level stuff. Uh, And again, uh, there's probably some that are listening to this uh, podcast today thinking, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I entirely agree with that. Client attraction is the whole darn thing, the, the kit and caboodle, so to speak. <clears throat> um, yeah, we can get into definitions here, but what I'm trying to do is segment this out for you to think about it in buckets, right? So at the very top is the sort of client funnel at the very, you know, sort of big entry point of that funnel, right? So it's big and wide. All the things you're doing there to attract the client, you know, to get attention, all of that. Client acquisition, again, is actually onboarding and, you know, selling the products and services. So back to that example, then, uh, where we're seeing traffic improving, you know, people are calling in and, you know, basically the front office is asking them, 
hey, uh, we can service you over here, but let me ask you a quick question. How did you find us? Yeah, found you online. Search for this keyword or whatever. And most of the time, the the um, the uh, the clients they don't know how they found you necessarily, and certainly not by keywords, and that's normal. Um, and if you ask them, hey, was it on mobile and desktop? Forget it, right? That's your job to track that with your analytics to make sure that you know when that happened. And you can do a lot with the matching of data points there, obviously, and all the way back into your uh, uh, CRM and what have you. Uh, but I digress, as I like to say. We have so much to talk about on these uh, these broadcasts. Um, but today we're talking about client attraction versus client acquisition. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, traffic is moving up in this example for this client that I'm talking about. Everything's wonderful. And, um, you know, we're a couple of months in and uh, we're bringing other keywords up and the discussions are positive about uh, other areas that we're trying to focus on in terms of landing pages. Uh, we're talking about uh, developing new microsites and, you know, it's really a, a nice big client and we've uh, had a long relationship. Uh, anyway, then what happens is uh, there's some movement in the organization. There's some staff changes. There's some internal conflicts. And, you know, all these things happen, but not always privy to us uh, at the agency side, right? But, you know, that's that's somewhat related here, but not directly. Anyway, when this uh, happens, of course, questions come up about, you know, revenue and revenue generation. And, Sometimes at the agency level, level, we'll have full visibility into that. Uh, other times, we will have less visibility because we're tasked and hired for a, you know, hired and tasked, I should say, for a specific um, uh, outcome. And in this case, hey, I need to be ranked, right? Well, I'm using this as a case study of what we typically don't do, which is we're just going to rank you and leave it at that, Right. We are customer acquisition strategists, and that brings us to the point of uh, sort of the second you know, category of discussion here today, uh, which as we're talking about client attraction, which is fine, we're talking about that top line metrics uh, buck, you know, or segment, uh, you know, buckets of traffic and, and movement and the actions and activity that takes place to make that all happen, right? Um, talk a lot about that uh, here on uh, media and marketing, and you can go back and look at some of the, uh, or listen rather, to uh, some of these episodes where I talk about uh, the customer journey in its entirety. Uh, but um, let's uh, let's now dive into the customer acquisition portion of this. So, in the example that I just gave uh, of the high end service business, well, so. All is going well. You know, things are really cruising. Um, things are ranking. You know, we've been doing SEO for a long time. We uh, then added some Facebooks and some Google. And now it really took off. In fact, a lot of that uh, paid activity on Google also helped our SEO, not for ranking, but for visibility. Brand lift, right? So people are typing it in to um, to search engines. But um but anyway, so now we have actually a really extensive thing going on. And then we actually ended up uh, redesigning the entire website and, and developing that. So uh, really, just really took off in terms of not only traffic, visibility, the ranking, as I said, the top line, but also um, to a uh, brand new website uh, with uh, a little higher conversions because we had planned that out in terms of setting up these uh, customer funnels and you know, segmenting the traffic and uh, ability to test with uh, AB landing pages and things like that. But, um, you know, go ahead and listen again to the, the broadcast here. I talk a lot about that uh, on uh, media and marketing. But anyway, so here now, here comes kind of the, the, the entire, you know, discussion of customer acquisition, right? Which if you talk to any business owner, if I met you at the airport and we're sitting there and we're having a quick coffee or drink as you're heading off to New York and I'm heading back to L.A. and we're sitting at the airport in Seattle or something, we just met, we're just chit-chatting about the weather and the sports games or whatever. And then uh, uh, it certainly uh, becomes a discussion perhaps around business, especially if you talk to me. And turns out that you're the CEO of a, a local services business. And I'm going to ask you, do you need more leads and sales? Yes, I need more customers, clients or patients, depending on that industry, right? So everybody wants this. So over the years, what we learned 
is that if somebody says, hey, I just want to rank in Google, we say, no, you don't. You actually want to acquire more customers, you know? And um, I remember actually distinctly um, this, uh, this thing came up about a year and a half ago or maybe even two years now on LinkedIn. Somebody had uh, literally sent me a message saying, hey, we'd like to get started. I've seen a lot of stuff about you and your books, etc. And uh, they said, we really need a very comprehensive content strategy. And uh, I said, great, great. Uh, you know, this is all in text, right? So I texted back. And uh, I said, why do you need that, right? <coughs> Pardon me. Why do you need the, um, the content? And they got so disgusted by that question. They said, well, clearly you don't know what you're talking about and dismissed, right? Well, that was not a good match as a client. But uh, really, the, the thing that I'm pointing to here is if I asked you, why do you want more rankings in Google, right? Why do you want better rankings, You'd say, hey, I want more traffic. Okay, I'm going to continue. Why do you want more traffic? You've heard this for, before, right? The five, six, or seven whys to really drill down to what, to what you uh, actually want. Uh, well, more traffic. Well, why do you want more traffic? Well, of course, I'm going to get more awareness and visibility into my products or services. Okay, here we go again. Why? Right? And it's annoying to be drilling and asking these questions. By the way, we don't, you know, call it out as directly as that on, uh, you know, prospect calls, but we really want to understand uh, what the real purpose is and what they're trying to do. And um, so ultimately now the question becomes, why do you want more visibility to your products and services? Well, I want to sell more. Okay. Well, how do, so then now it's a combination of how do you sell, right? So understanding that sales process, but also why do you want to sell more? Well, I want to grow more. And, you know, you drill and drill and drill and you find out that ultimately what they want is freedom and lifestyle. They don't want to get enough business and processes built into their business through client acquisition, through customer acquisition, so that they can enjoy and travel and do other things, right? I mean, it's, it's basically what we all want. And so what we did over the years is we realized there's a big opportunity here for us to create kind of a niche in the marketplace, if I can even call it a niche to say that customer acquisition has to be the key. So if you talk to us at chaosmap.com about ranking on Google or driving paid media, et cetera, we really want to understand the entire customer journey from you know your target audience, obviously, at the top all the way through to the back end to understand your average order values, you know, lifetime value, customer acquisition costs, all of these elements are going to go into creating a map, essentially, that we work with you on to share with you how you can really, you know, trigger those level levers that will have the biggest impact for you. So for client acquisition then, and actually getting folks to sign up with you, it's not just rank me or give me more traffic. It's understanding that entire funnel, that entire experience. And back to that example of the high ticket, you know, professional services organization, they came back and said, man, we are really pleased with all the work, the interaction, your team, um, you know, it's just, you know, accolades after accolades and really impressed. But you know what? The leads are not converting that great. Okay, well, we had heard this before. We had asked about it and we had called this out as the ultimate sort of question in the organization. How well are you converting the leads coming in? And very often, by the way, you'll hear this. Hey, the leads are crap or they're low quality. Yeah, okay, let's, let's, you know, we'll have further discussions on that. But really, here's the crux of the entire conversation here today. Client attraction versus customer acquisition. Well, there really is no versus per se. They both are connected, right? One without the other ain't going to work. But for customer acquisition, your sales process needs to be understood. It needs to be really tight. It needs to be const constantly improving. And in the case of this professional services organization, we started listening to calls. And we learned very quickly, and we obviously should have done this sooner, but we really were not hired initially to do the customer acquisition in that case. But uh, we could hear uh, just horrendous uh, calls, you know, uh, folks hanging up after being on hold for, you know, a minute and a half, you know, li listening to music. 
uh, or just, you know, kind of an unprofessional different way for each agent to handle the calls, a different sort of hello signatures, right? So one would say literally hello. And others would say, hello, and then throw some tagline out there that, you know, is not really related and not a single person actually answered uh, that tagline. It, it just felt weird, right? And um, no personalization, no conversations about really how are you today. It's just straight into business, very sort of cold and, and impersonal. And uh, we... Um, we looked at to say your problem is not the increasing traffic and all the visibility and the improvement on the front end through the client attraction and getting the attention and, and all of that good stuff. It, uh, it is now your client acquisition process. You have really none. So what we did is we said, okay, we're going to put together a sales training program for you. And we're going to teach you and show you how this works. And we're going to couple this with some of the activities that you're also doing on social media, which is just, you know, posting links, essentially, which is a, a no-no. And uh, we're going to really help you to improve the client acquisition area. And um, that's what we're working on right now. And uh, we're rather excited about it because we finally got a commitment uh, from the organization that's that that's what they want to do and uh, they're leaning in us now to take them to the next level so this has been a great journey for the last uh, few months but uh, we're really excited now and it falls in line with exactly what we do and how we think about these things in terms of not just you know client attraction at the top end but client acquisition, truly actually onboarding clients through a process in the back end, which by the way, yes, it's about sales, but it's about relationship building. It's about persuasion. And uh, persuasion is a big deal because it's not manipulation, but it's persuasion uh, to actually help them. So when they come into your funnel, they submit forms, they maybe call in. There's a really significant process that's streamlined, that's useful, helpful, helpful unique, and, and urgent um, the four U's, right? Um, but uh, these are things that we do ourselves. So if you want to talk to us, uh, check it out at chaosmap.com and uh, set up an appointment there and uh, we'll take you through the process. And it's quite simple, uh, but it's not always easy, right? Because it requires staffing changes potentially. It requires uh, a new training. It also requires you to change your mindset on some of these things. Uh, this organization that I'm talking about has had a long history um, for years of doing it a certain way. Uh, as humans, of course, when somebody comes in and says, no, nah, it's all wrong, what are we going to do? We're going to actually probably reject it right off the bat. We're just not enjoying that conversation because we don't want to change. We resist change when, in fact, change is the only constant and it's exactly what you should be doing. But... Um, what I wanted to do today is just, you know, have you think about these things and ultimately your action point today, the first thing you should do is you should go into your uh, entire set of data, you know, so Google Analytics probably, right? Track everything that you're doing from the first sort of touch point uh, where they come in from, you know, SEO, or paid media or email or social media. Everything should be tracked and segmented. It should be understood that movement throughout, right? And uh, realize that not everything is instant either, right? So if they hit a traffic point and um, they don't convert immediately, you need to track that. So that's attribution, right? I talk a little bit about that here also uh, in other broadcasts. But um, ultimately, what you need to do is you start with the tracking. So you're very clear on the data universe for you. And then you need to actually, if you are doing calls directly, understand what those um, elements are, uh, what your staff is doing, your team, and be able to start recording and listening to those and call up a sales training organization uh, or connect with us and we'll help you with it. So that's today's broadcast, doing it a little differently from the car here today. It's just so busy. So hope you enjoy this. Take action. Go to chaosmap.com and set up an appointment if you'd like and take action today and stop, do and stop doing what's not working, I like to say. And uh, have a great day, evening or, uh, or night. Yawn out. Later.